What are the latest XARP news? How much will XARP cost after the trial? When will the result of the trial be announced? We will answer all these questions in today's video. While the court battle between Ripple and the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, continues the regulator has submitted its response to the blockchain company's claims, which relate to previous legal issues and their conclusions that may have an influence on the cryptocurrency business, according to a tweet posted on March 23 by us defense attorney James K. Phelan. The SEC has submitted its response to the two letters regarding supplemental authority from the bankruptcy case of the cryptocurrency lending platform Voyager Digital, as well as the Bittner v. United States case before the U.S. Supreme Court. Previously, Ripple's legal team filed the Voyager bankruptcy case ruling as a supporting reason for its fair notice defense, notably Judge Michael Weil's observations on the significant uncertainties in the crypto industry on which regulators themselves cannot seem to agree. Meanwhile, the second letter is about the Bittner v. United States case in which a dual Romanian-American citizen refused to record all of his income. According to the judgment, due notice should be provided to the public in terms that the common world would comprehend of what the law plans to do if a specific border is crossed. According to the sex response, the defendant's claims in these letters do not hold water in the fair notice defense and neither offers any reason to reject the sex petition for summary judgment. The letters include stray statements from two instances purportedly in support of the defendant's argument to the sex petition for summary judgment. The defendants argue that both portions support their fair notice claim, but neither does. The sex legal team asserted in its reasoning that the Bittner case concerned whether a penalty could be imposed once for each unreported foreign bank account or as a single fine, and that it was concluded that the rule of lenity allowed a single penalty for the transgression, but that the court's decision did not imply it could be used to escape liability. Defendants blatantly mischaracterized the Voyager bankruptcy court's comments and select chosen terms out of context in a misguided effort to strengthen their unavailing affair notice claim, the sex stated of the Voyager case. Nowhere in its ruling did the bankruptcy court highlights any alleged limited instruction offered generally to market players, or even imply that it extended outside of the particular action at issue. Former lawyer and Evernode Exerpol co-founder Scott Chamberlain previously listed potential outcomes for the lawsuit, including summary judgments, a settlement between the parties, and a subsequent case to investigate whether any of the XRP token sales in the United States included an unregistered investment contract. Notably, his suggestions came after Ripple. In his opinion, scored a major victory against the SEC with a fatal exclusion of one specific witness, as Judge Annalisa Torres issued an initial 57 page ruling in which both the blockchain company and the financial regulator sought to exclude expert testimonies from summary judgment. Ripple Chief Legal Officer Stuart Alderodi responded to Coinbase's SEC Wells notification. SEC. A Wells notice is in SEC letter stating that a corporation or person violated securities laws. It gives the receiver six months to refute these charges before the SEC decides to take action. Coinbase received this SEC letter yesterday. According to Coinbase's chief legal officer, Paul Gruwal's blog post, the warning gave Coinbase nothing to react to. The statement claims that an undefined part of the exchange's tradable assets, Coinbase Prime, and its self-custody wallet violate investor protection regulations. The crypto exchange was investigated last year. In a case against former Coinbase employee Ishan Wahi for insider trading, the regulator also alleged that nine exchange assets were unregistered securities. Coinbase still trusts their asset listing procedure. Coinbase does not list securities, Girl said in the blog yesterday. In recent weeks, the crypto exchange has also asserted that its staking program is not an unregistered securities offering. In February, Coinbase rival Kraken settled SEC allegations by permanently ending its U.S. staking operation and paying a $30 million fine.
Coinbase notes that the SEC authorized its operation and permitted it to become a publicly listed corporation in April 2021, days before SEC Chair Gary Gensler took office. In the previous nine months, the company met with SEC investigators 30 times to register part of its operation and settle inquiries. Although Coinbase paid millions in legal expenses to identify viable registration models for Bitcoin, the SEC stopped the process in January. Gruel speculated that Gensler's numerous remarks urging crypto businesses to register with the SEC would fail. As reported in recent months, the crypto exchange seems to have been preparing for a showdown with the regulator. The crypto exchange recently revised its risk statement to clarify that it may not remove a listed crypto asset even if the SEC labels it a security until the regulator wins in court. Ripple is still fighting the market regulator on whether XRP is in unregistered securities. The blockchain payment startup got an amicus brief from Coinbase in its battle against the whole fledgling industry. If the SEC takes action, Consensi's lawyer William Hughes expects a flood of amicus filings supporting Coinbase. Alderity's responses and history suggest Ripple might support Coinbase. Hughes believed that if the SEC enforces, the court fight would go years and beyond Gensler. The attorney predicts that factual issues will lead to appeals. In July, crypto law founder attorney John E. Deaton called the SEC a compete complete and total disgrace. The regulator's actions angered and grieved the attorney. The attorney later tweeted that free marketeers would be disgusted by the SEC's actions. U.S. Market growth is questionable. Once Terra and Fox collapsed, authorities, notably the SEC, seem to have initiated an industry-wide crackdown. Market players want unambiguous instructions. According to attorney John E. Deaton, the emails and papers relating to writing Bill Heinemann's contentious 2018 address at the Yahoo Finance All Markets Summit, known as the Hyman Materials, will ultimately become public. If Judge Annalisa Torres cites the documents in her summary judgment decision in the United States Securities and Exchange Commission SECI, case against Ripple, she is likely to declare them judicial documents making them publicly accessible with some redactions, as explained by the CryptoLaw founder in a Twitter thread yesterday. Furthermore, he points out that the Heinemann records are also important in current litigation. Noting the action against Dragon Chain over Dargan, an Ethereum blockchain token that the SEC also claims is an unregistered security, the lawyer emphasizes that access to the Heinemann papers is more crucial to the defense in this case than Ripple's fair notice argument. And he also reminds community members that courts have already granted SEC attorney. Client privilege arguments. Heinemann, the then director of the SEC's Division of Corporate Finance, said in the contentious speech that ETH is not a security since the blockchain is sufficiently decentralized. This is the same blockchain that Dargan is built on, as mentioned above. Deaton also said that Dr. Rosalind Layton, a policy scholar, had filed a petition in the Ripple case contesting the SEC's attempt to seal the records. Deaton also claims to have submitted a similar request under the Freedom of Information Act, which he plans to pursue. As a result, the SEC enforcement action against Ripple over excerpt two years later astonished many in the crypto world prompting the Ripple defense to seek documents connected to the speech draft. Importantly, it begs the issue of why the government opted to target Ripple rather than Ethereum. Remember that the SEC first denied Ripple's request, claiming that the speech reflected Hyman's personal ideas and was therefore irrelevant to the case. When forced by the court to produce the materials, the agency changed its story stating that Hyman wrote the speech with the assistance of the agency's attorneys, citing attorney, client privilege. Nevertheless, the SEC ultimately gave up the records to Ripple in October. After 18 months and six court orders from two courts,
Dr. Layton noted after submitting her application for access to the records that they would reveal whether there were any malicious reasons for the Ethereum free pass or if there is uncertainty among regulators, which would excuse perplexity among industry players. The SEC wants you to believe that it is concerned with disclosure, openness, and clarity. They are not to be believed. The shamefulness of their actions here will shock you when the truth comes out. Ripple Chief Executive Officer Brad Garlinghouse tweeted after the blockchain payment startup acknowledged receipt of the disputed papers.